Hi everyone, so here is my next project. It's going to be the handle for another letter opener. I really like these letter openers I'm, I've got hold of now. I like the style. It's going to be resin. This is all resin and this is polymer clay. This is the uh, polymer clay cane that I got from Fiona Abel Smith. Now here's the difference. Um, I put this in the oven at much higher temperature, a little bit higher, uh, I didn't realise, left it in for half an hour, it went rock solid, but the difference is the colours have, um, well it's almost like it's been burnt, but these parts here will, would be a vibrant yellow and reds and stuff, but it's dulled the colour down because it's given it a kind of old an old feel to the colours. I mixed this, this was very cold and um, I've got away with it I think but it's not a good thing to mix a Lumalite when it's pretty cold. Hi everyone, so I started to go through the polishing of this and um, I'm just not happy with the ends. The, um, the gold that I put on is see-through. You can see through it into the, uh, um, the brass tube. You can see where it's glued on, um, both ends. It just doesn't look good at all. Okay, so that didn't take long to do, so all I've done is I chopped off the ends. I'll start all over again. Hey everyone, there's another problem that has occurred. Uh, I can't believe it. It's um, where I've glued this end on. The the CA has somehow got between the resin and the polymer clay. Uh, I think it's it's just crept in there somehow. It must have been a, a small gap or something. I don't know. But it's I've tried to take it out, but it's it won't come out. It's just cloudy. So there's only one thing for it. This end is all right, but I've just I've got to take this off here. Okay everybody, I'm uh, starting to turn this bigger end down now. Try, I'm just trying to make good of a bad job really. It's looking nice. It actually blends in nicely with this wood. I like it a lot. Hey everyone, so here is the letter opener. This has been a fair old journey. Um, lots has gone wrong with this, you know, with the ends. And the final uh, thing, I put it together because I can't take it apart, but I just wanted to show you what happened and explain something. This the tube that comes with this kit is about that long and I like to make the tubes that long so the equivalent to the blade just feels better in the hand so what I normally do I get the original tube that comes with the kit and then I get half a tube I cut down and 
I put a wooden dowel inside, put the tubes together, and then I wrap the um, the polymer clay round, um, which is what I did this time. So as you see in the videos, the ends weren't correct, um, so I changed them to wood. Um, that all went okay. Uh, then when I went to take this off the pen mandrel, this happened. And where this wood meets with this is almost at the same point as where the the tubes meet. And of course I don't glue the tubes. So I suppose you could say that's like a secret compartment in there. <laughs> but um, anyway, I put it together just because it's such a beautiful pattern, this. It really is. Um, it's a shame but it's not going to stay as... I could just glue that, but you can see the join now. It doesn't look very good. I don't like it. So, um, unfortunately, this is not going to stay as a, a letter opener. Uh, I might be able to make something off this part with some other kit, maybe some sort of pen kit. I don't know. But it's, it's always good practice anyway. I've just found that pen that I made out of the same wood. I must find out the name of that. I think it's Red Melee, 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 something like that. Uh, but that would have made a nice uh, letter opener pen kit. Yeah, kind of suits it. This banding here is the same band, same kind of um, shape as this one. Pretty nice, actually. Thank you, everybody. See you soon.